Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3. We are, of course, here. Things look a little bit different. I'm getting, I'm getting a bit disorientated. I keep, I don't know, every time I look here, I don't know where I am because it looks, uh, looks fairly neat. I know we've still got the cobble. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. How is everyone doing? Hope you are doing well. Last episode, yeah, we, we cleared up. We've got these huge chests, which look like both awesome and ridiculous, which I'm quite fond of, and uh, we did all of that as well. So, uh, this episode, this episode, I want to do some of this stuff. Um, we need some, we need some bitumen uh, to unlock pneumatic crafts, I think. So I thought we'd have a go at this. So I believe we basically follow this through to to get. To get to that, so we'll see what this does. Um, core sample drives give you information about the resources in your chunk. Cool. Okay. Fine. Let's make one of these. I think I've got the resources in my inventory, and I do. Look at that. Uh, and then wireless RF transmitter. Let's have a look. See. Um, so I don't know if I can get the. Oh look at that! It actually shows the uh, the chunk. How cool is that? I forgot about that. I I have used one of these before. It's been a while. Will this will this do it? Is this too far away? I feel like it's going to be too far away. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, what we can do to begin with? Uh, uh, really, really? I can't believe that just did that. Let's come here and try it out over here. Um. Let's put it in this chunk boundary. So that should nope. That should now do it. Do, when you're not doing it, you're not doing it. This should be working. I fixed this last episode. Yeah, look, we've got we've got stuff in here. This is going. Why are you not doing? <laughs> Why is this not happening? Oh, that is irritating. So we've put it, we've put it over here now, uh, and it should be working. I think it is working. You can see it's sort of doing a little thing, like it's spinning. I believe that's what it does, and then it gives you, I think, a core sample drill when it's done. Yeah, there we go, core sample. Um, no mineral, no fluid reservoir. That's that's it. No mineral, no fluids. Okay, well that's that's a little bit. And that's a little bit gutting, but this is now completed, so we can see about this. By putting a pump jack in a chunk that has oil, it'll start slowly collecting it. Okay, so we need to make a pump jack, but first we need to find somewhere that has oil. And for this we just need 1,000 millibuckets, and I'm guessing, I think, we have to make another... I think it's a distillation tower, in order to process the oil which will then, I think, give us diesel and bitumen, which is like an offshoot. You remember how we had to do the same thing with this and it, it gave us salt? Um, well, it's the same sort of thing. So I'm, I'm just going to have to find somewhere that has, well, that has, that has some oil. So I don't know where that is. So I'm going to spend some time looking around, uh, basically trying to find a core sample. I presume once it does, it will. I don't know if you can. No, you you can't. I think. Can you place it down? I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I thought you could place it down. So shift clicking. So you can basically. You can see there. No mineral. No fluid reservoir. So we need to find some fluid reservoir. That's the thing. We are in our forestry chunk, and I've just put it down here. And look what we have: iron vein and five. Million over five million five and I'm just over five and a half million um, millibuckets of oil. Excellent. So this is the worthy chunk. So we can we can build ourselves another platform down here uh, and set up another immersive engineering thing. I think that's what we'll do. Ooh, look at that. That that sort of comes down with me. That's fairly nice. Um, so that there, there we have it. I will be making what is it a pump jack? I think. Put in a pump jack in a chunk that has oil, it'll slowly start collecting it. Okay, pump jack away. Look at this thing, it is going very, very slowly. What we could maybe do, have I? Yes, yes, let's let's do this very quickly just to 
just to let the buffer load up a little bit, uh, here it is. That's just let that load up a little. There we go. And we'll let this um, fill up as well. But what you can see here, this is it. It looks pretty cool. I've not actually built the pump jack before. Um, that feels like... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, fine. It looks like that's the wrong texture, really. But um, it looks really cool. So I've just got my old... My old trusted thing up here with a coal generator from Actually Additions. And I've just put the black hole tank here and you can see it's getting very, very slowly. It's getting some oil. Now, I don't know how much it's going to take to, um, I don't know, to, to make bitumen. I, I'm guessing more than this right now. Um, but let's let's see it in action. And I've also, so I made, I made all these treated wood planks just to put this here. And you can... You can. You can add more than one of these in the same chunk to make the whole process quicker. That is that is a thing that you can do. I don't know if we'll need to. Um, is, oh, that's, that's water. Okay. We're fine. But what I was planning to do is build the distillation tower um, here. And, ah, I've put it downstairs. Um, so let's have a look at it in the engineer's manual. Look at how big it is. It's like 16 blocks tall or something. Like, it is huge. It's huge. Um, environmentally unfriendly. So it this won't fit here. So I've had to come down. I've had to make another one here. And I've basically just aped the... Um, oh, let's turn that off. Um, and actually, let's uh, let's put a torch there. I've aped the dark oak wood planks that we have, I think, so far on all of the bottom rungs. So maybe that's the thing that we have. And you can see... I've started to, well, I've just put down the first uh, the first thing. So obviously, as per usual, we can do a bit of this and all of this stuff. I don't know, is that heavy? Those are heavy engineering blocks, and I've got two more steel scaffoldings. Okay, so I've got a fair bit more to build. And actually, you can see here all the stuff that we need. 25 steel scaffolding, 33 steel scaffolding slabs. Wow. Uh, 17 fluid pipes, one in redstone, four heavy, and 60 iron sheet metal. That is, that is a lot. That is a lot. Thankfully, the sheet metal, if we have a quick look-see, um, I believe, uh, no, where's the iron one? Aluminium iron, there we go. Is Yeah, it's just uh, plates. So that's not too bad, because now the plates, not these, but the tech, re no. Where's the embers in the tech reborn plates? Because we have a compressor, getting plates now is actually pretty, pretty simple for us. So that is at least an easier thing for us to do. It's probably steel that is still a little bit of a pain. But um, yeah, we, we are on our way. Uh, and let's actually see. The night is drawing in. That is full. Let's turn this on. Let's see how quickly. Wow. Yeah, okay, well, that's fine. That is all right. I, I don't know how much we'll need. The first the first thing is just to get a 1,000 millibuckets, um, which we're about to get. Have I got a bucket? No. Hit. There we go. Can I get... There we go. There we go. Collecting oil. That is a thing that is done. Excellent. So now we're on to this. By putting oil in a distillation tower, it'll turn into diesel and you'll get bitumen as a bright product. Excellent. So diesel and then bitumen. And then we need 32, I think, of that to get to pneumatic craft. That's, so that's why we're doing all of this to unlock another gate, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and make this distillation tower. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. There we have it. It looks amazing it is a really cool structure i like it and i especially like this little um the the step ladder thing here it's not really a step ladder it's just a ladder but i like even the the kind of guardrails here and the best thing is you can actually use this look at this look at this now you can actually probably see that it is actually doing stuff right now so can i can I do the flying? Um, so what we have here, I moved our thermoelectric generator from over there just to provide this with a little bit of power. And it is, it is doing stuff. And I've also now 
what I've done is I set up an ender tank here and it's got one black line in the middle. So that is doing stuff. It, this is still pumping very, very slowly. There's like 15 millibuckets every now and again. Um, and what we have down here, out, uh, is that same ender tank, that going into this black hole tank and straight into here. Now I could, I could once maybe this is actually empty, which it actually almost is so let's let's perhaps wait for this to empty out there we go um let's let's just do this there we go and let's just do that so there we go so that should now still be still be there we go you can still see it's pulling stuff in excellent so there's no middleman with the black hole tank is pulling stuff oh wow um, we have oil in here, we have gasoline, diesel, and lubricant. Okay, can we can we swap these round? No, okay. Um, don't know how to, or what to do with most of that. I know the lubricant isn't really done with most. I think, I presume, that this here is the exit pipe. So that right there is the intro, not intro the intake pipe uh, and this here is where we get us <gasps> oh 20 that is pretty good actually i didn't think that was going to be as good as it is although obviously it's slowed down now um but that's not too bad it's got to be said that is not like the worst and how ah right so yeah there's no oil so i'm guessing it'll i don't know how much oil it needs to even do anything 60 was that something like that um i'm guessing now we're gonna have to find a way to get the diesel and the gasoline out and i don't really know what we can do with either of those let's have a look at this um oh we just need what is that all we need we need um nope <laughs> that's the wrong thing i'm looking at we need bitumen and some diesel okay so what i'm thinking is that we need well, we can put that here right now. What's what's in here? Gasoline. Um, let's just do that for a second. There we go. Um, and maybe get another two of these, even though we don't really we don't really need to use the black hole tanks. But I quite like them because they're they're just very compact, obviously, and we can pick them up and they'll keep their inventory. So let's just go make another couple and I'll be right back. Right then, so in addition to our gasoline, we have diesel here and we have a lubricant here. Uh, and this just pulls it out. So whatever's in there at the time, it'll pull everything out and then something else will appear. So this is pretty much constantly empty uh, as we have it now. You can see it just flash. So I think the, what this is meant to do is meant to heat up the oil. Um, that's, I think, I believe how this works, and then distills it, which is a process that I know nothing about. But anyway, we need um, 32 bitumen, but for the actual heavy machinery bit, we need diesel and bitumen as well. So, you can see, ah, ha 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 um, so we just need that, and is this diesel? Yes, it is. Uh, there we go. That should do it. Advan really? Advanced resources? Um, ha has that really opened up something else? That's a bit random. Uh, lubricant? Oh, okay. Uh, we, we, can, we can totally do that as well. Uh, that, that, there we go. And a lubricant can an automatic lubricator. Speeding up certain i.e. multi-blocks. Okay, well that's interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be bothered to do any of that. Um, what I do want to do though is, where are you? There we go. Detect, claim, bam, we have pneumatic craft, which is pretty exciting. Uh, where are you? Under pressure, I believe. There we go. We have another gate unlocked and compressed iron. There's a lot of stuff in this one. Oh, now then, this is exciting. Miniaturization. <gasps> ah, that is that is an exciting thing to have, actually. I didn't realize this was part of um, all of this liquid compressor. So pneumatic craft is, 
I've done a, the tiniest, tiniest bit of that virtual trending. Trending. I don't know what any of this is. Um, but cool. Okay, well, I'm very excited for this. Four minute, yeah, okay. Well, that is that is a definite excitement because what we can do is, with all that miniaturization, oh, this is uh, very much nighttime now, is some of our things like... Yes. Okay. Um, like stuff like this, we can basically, we can we can put in a miniaturization chamber uh, and like this stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be here and ugly. I don't know if we could fit a blaze farm in there, but that would be pretty nifty if we could. I'd like that. So that is definitely something that obviously we're going to get into because uh, well, it's this mod pack. But there we go. And um, distillation tower done. Pneumatic craft is unlocked. That is another thing to tick off the box. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to finish in the darkness because why not? Why not? We never do that. We, ne we never do that. Have I got something more interesting to hold? Nothing. Okay, well, fine. Well, my pickaxe is not too bad. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe. Keep up to date with the channel because that would be really rather lovely of you. And I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've been Nectar. This has been Mon Skyblock 3, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.